Hello, it is Sab Exposure. Today we are at Thibodeau's Authentic Cajun Cooking in downtown Dallas. It's supposed to be one of the most authentic, great tasting, mature, friendly lounges and restaurants in the DFW area. And I am here to tell you all about it, how they got started, what the food tastes like, what's the ins, what's the outs. Uh, so stay tuned, make sure you like and subscribe. Sab Exposure out. So this room is the takeout order room. This is where you wanna go if you wanna look at the menu um, and decide to order something for a takeout or if you've ordered ahead of time to come up and pick up your meal or if you wanna order something and go into the next room and dine in. Now when you get to the next room, this is pretty much where the magic happens. This is where the live bands come in the evening. This is where the bar is. This is where you sit down and enjoy your food. This is where the vibes, this is where the essence of the restaurant currently is. Now you see this is just an overall nice space where you're able to do something like a dinner party or invite your family to be able to uh, have a good time, be able to watch the TV. You see there's a lot of TVs that kind of surround this whole area where you're able to watch sports games. You can go to the bar, have a drink, hang out with your buddies, uh, watch the game there. So it, it's just an overall space uh, that you can lounge and, and be comfortable with, with in that setting. So let's not forget this is a restaurant, so I have to get into the food. They have a plethora of different Cajun style foods from catfish and fried okra to shrimp and chicken wings to corn fritters to peach cobbler and Kool-Aid. Oh my goodness. So I had the 224, which comes with two pieces of catfish, two pieces of shrimp and four wings. Everything was good. I don't have any complaints. The catfish was amazing. They had a great tasting seasoning on it that I couldn't quite put my hand on, but it was amazing. And the hot wings, they weren't just regular hot wings. They had a special kind of buffalo sauce that was kind of unusual to what I've tasted before, but it was amazing. I'm a hot sauce connoisseur, so I absolutely loved it. Now, when we talk about the nightlife at Thibodeau's, the atmosphere completely changes. It becomes live. It becomes a, a space, a lounge where uh, adults can come and enjoy live music, where they can come and have a good time, have some drinks, blow off some steam, and be able to enjoy themselves in a mature space. Now, an integral part of Thibodeau's is music. They make sure they have live entertainment almost every day from Monday through Saturday. Here you can see the hard drive band who's performing on this particular day. Um, they work with different bands and artists and musicians to get residencies there to make sure there's always a space where people could come to listen to live music, which I think is especially important, especially mature crowds, you know, where this isn't a space that's, you know, a club where, you, you know, you're going to be dancing, a place where you can come and relax and chill and be able to enjoy some live music um, kind of at a different pace where you can have a drink and converse with people and you have a space to be able to do that which is especially important, especially at times like this, to have that kind of peace of mind in a setting that you can do that in. So something I wanna highlight is that Louis Thibodeau and his wife, Deneen Thibodeau, run a black-owned family business, uh, which is important, especially in times where to be able to highlight and celebrate these things that people are able to accomplish such things. And we wanna be able to support them and make sure we can keep things going for them. Um, they have amazing place and I think amazing space um, and I was happy to be a part of this and they are up to some big things they have actually bought the two spaces next door um, so they're planning on expanding this location um, pretty much almost the whole block 
So they'll have one part be a cigar bar, kind of lounge area. Um, they'll still have a restaurant uh, and have kind of a dining area. And then they'll have a live entertainment dance floor area. So kind of what they have now, just kind of expanding and adding um, so they can accommodate more people, so they can have a bigger space. Um, and I'm really excited to see what that looks like. And I'll be coming back, actually, I think, to be able to see what that space looks like and I'll have to show you guys.